Hello, this is Pierre Olivier. Today we're taking you with us on a scientific mission to the Tadoussac Bird Observatory, where the famous spring bird census takes place. We're going to join volunteers and scientists who are passionate about ornithology and who work together to better understand and therefore better protect the birds of the boreal forest. The Tadoussac Bird Observatory conducts several research projects each year in the spring and fall on the dunes of Tadoussac, as well as Grand Bergerin and the Cap Tourmont National Wildlife Reserve. Tadoussac is one of the most important migration corridors in Quebec for boreal birds. We are therefore joining Alexandre Terrejou, Director of Operations at the Observatory, who can tell us more about the work that's carried out here each spring. I want to begin by asking, why Tadoussac and Grand Bergerin? Why did you set up the Tadoussac Bird Observatory here? It is a very important migratory corridor. For example, that red pole there, nearly 260,000 have been observed at the Tadoussac dunes. We really have exceptional species diversity. Reverse migrations, which is a somewhat more recent phenomenon that we only knew a little about before, but then we observed the huge migration of 500,000 warblers moving from north to south when we would expect to see them move as they normally do, from south to north. It is also a migratory stopover location where we can have a lot of ducks that will stop nearby to rest and feed. The highlights are really the spring migration and the fall migration. This is where you come to settle. What are your tools for measuring the health of bird populations or what is happening at the bird level? In fact, we try to have all the possible information that we might be missing to better understand bird population trends. At the beginning, it starts with essentially visual surveys. We are able to give the age for certain individuals. We can have other information for particular finches or we can make a targeted bird banding program on these species to learn are there more males or more females captured. On age, are there more juveniles or more adults? And finally, to learn the state of the health of the population population to know if we have a good reproduction. Are the birds of the boreal forest in Quebec doing well according to what you've observed here? We find declines in certain species, sometimes increases, such as the sharp-shinned hawk or the warbler. In recent years, as we all know, there's been the spruce budworm epidemic. They took full advantage of it. It's expected that the number of certain warblers in the next few years will decrease because they were in very, very high numbers. Even climate change plays a role in this. We're going to have species that will perhaps winter less further south than before, and it's really difficult to conclude whether we really have species that are declining or increasing. It is precisely our role to be a sentinel, to provide information year after year, things that can be difficult at times to finance. We want three-year projects, but then, unfortunately, that's not how it works. Projects of several years are needed to have a reliable population trend. I have the impression that birds are very accessible animals. The bird watching community is big. Do you think people care about birds? Yes, very much. I think that's because of the accessibility of bird feeders. There was really a gain in interest with COVID too, where people were at home and started to observe the birds. It really united a lot of people. Also, during the festival, which we organize each year at the end of September, more than a thousand people come over a few days to observe the birds, to learn more then we observe more and more really young ornithologists. As I said, the volunteers, it's a lot of young people who decide to learn more and then to participate, to do this on a voluntary basis. It's really exciting to see this interest from people. The Boreal Forest is a true sanctuary for birds. Every year, between three and five billion birds visit it, and half the country's 300 species use it either as a migratory stopover or to nest. Join us for the next episode, where we'll participate in a bird banding activity with volunteers and scientists from the Tadasac Bird Observatory.